God will follow you anywhere and everywhere. Are you listening to what I'm saying? He will follow you. If you are just that believe me. How many of you remember the story of Hosea? So when you were doing what you were not supposed to do, and he was still there, I can't, I can't lose him even for this. That is why the Bible says nobody hated his own body. So he will hate you for the blood. Hallelujah. He will wash you by the washing of the water and the word. This does not come for promiscuity. But it comes for the consciousness that I belong to him and he belongs to me. Because I am with him, I say no to sin. What Paul taught in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? The consciousness of God with us is the power against sin. I understand that we are dead to sin. Now we are alive to God. You can see that. I am dead to sin. What, what does it mean to die? Death simply means separation. What does it mean to be alive? Now I am joined to God. The reason why I couldn't stop sinning was because I was alive to sin. But now I am dead indeed to sin. Paul was saying this way, sin therefore shall no longer have dominion over you. Because the relationship that you need to service has been broken. Now you have been divorced to sin. Are you listening to what I'm saying? But now you are married. Now you are one. There is a union. There is an intercourse. There is a koinonia with God. You are one with Him. I don't know if somebody is hearing what I'm saying. So the reason why I will not watch what I'm not supposed to watch is not because nobody is watching with me, but because I know that He's here with me. The reason why when I say what I say, you see, you do not need to be corrected in a sense. The theme of the Holy Ghost, the presence of the Holy Ghost in our spirit, when you do something wrong, all of a sudden you know, and when you come into alignment, almost immediately, are you hearing what I'm trying to say? So he becomes our compass. He becomes our own pair. He, are you listening to what God is saying to us? So we value this relationship. So I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach. You know why I preach? Not like I'm shooting the, the arrow bullet. So um, it may not have, it may not be coordinated, but I believe that God is still going to bless us with that. If you're in church, shall you believe that? Hallelujah. Verse 29. I love this. Hallelujah. If a man here shall be men. If a man here shall be men. I can't hear you. Come on, give me a manly amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And if a woman shall be men. Hallelujah. You don't want to hear what I'm about to say. Hallelujah. Are you here? When the Bible was insisting, sister and brother, listen to me. When the Bible was insisting that, hallelujah, as we have called it, the traditional setting of marriage is that the husband takes care of. Talk to me now. The husband takes care of the wife. Hallelujah. And the wife submit herself to her husband. Now we are fighting it, we are fighting it in this uh, great movement. First the name of the called feminism. Well, I don't know what it means, but whatever it means, hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Amen. I was speaking to a lady one day and said, Pastor, even though she's doing well for herself and all of that, he said, Pastor, I want to become a God wife. He's making money for herself, I'm a serious woman. But Pastor, I want to become a God wife. That I will speak out, and the man will go out, and the man will take home and pay the bills and do stuff like that. That is the kind of woman. Amen? And then we laughed at him. But ladies and gentlemen, there is a great, look at what he said. Take it to the last, that one. Four, to be that two. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. So who established that the man will take care of the home? Well, someone will say, Pastor, but that's the reason, that's society. 
when is it said that the man will be the head of the body? I'll show you from scripture. But now this is what I want you to see. And that is why I ask the men to shout. And I ask the women to shout. The reason I'm trying to communicate here is this. I am so glad that God said that the church, sorry, Jesus is the man now. And the church is the bride. As far as I'm concerned, I am called the bride. Are you listening to what I'm trying to say? So while the man is doing whatever he wants to do to, to sponsor the, the, the whatever the bride, you see, what I'm trying to communicate to you is this. When we see ourselves correctly in this posture, receiving becomes easy. So it's the job of our husband to supply for his church. So he nourishes, he cherishes, are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Nobody hates his own body. So what God was trying to paint, the picture is there. I will take care of you. You are mine and I am yours. Whatever is mine, I am not like Akimi. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Whatever is mine, I bequeath it to you. Hallelujah. You point it, I'm going to pay for it. You point it, they'll kill it on your behalf. You do point and kill. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? So in this regard, I am so glad to be called. You know, are you listening to what I'm trying to say? Hallelujah. You see, you must understand that if a woman goes to the market, she can go to the market without money. She can go to the all she needs is her phone. Basically, the Lord. all she needs is her phone. She can buy whatever she wants to buy with money, without money in her bank account and without money in her pocket. Baby, I'm done. Tell me the account number. Pam. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you listening to what I'm trying to say? Hallelujah. That is what happens. Because, are you hearing what I'm trying to say? When God calls himself as your provider, he sees yourself as your own husband. Come on now. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? This I take care of. I wish somebody is hearing what I'm saying. Forget about the husband and the wife. I'm just talking about the church. So the love, the, husband, the, the love between husband and wife is nothing compared because some of the ones we have seen, they have been abused. Are you there? So forget about that one. The perfect picture, picture is what Christ and the church. That was why he painted the picture in Mosiah. That no matter how we work, the wife is. Mosiah will go and still pull her out and still cleanse her and still love her without judging her regardless. Now divorce is everywhere. You see, this is abusing many things in our heads. The Bible said God had divorced. If God got married to you, it is not in his character or his nature to let you go. Jesus said, all that you have given me, nobody can take them away from me. But are you listening to what God is saying to us today? But then you must understand what I'm talking about. I want to do Are you listening to what God is saying? Somebody shall amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When you marry, you marry wrong. But I'm so glad he did not make a mistake. When he chose me, even when I was a mistake, he made me right. He who knew no sin. He became sin that I might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So he made me right. And he stuck with me and he said, I will never leave you. Come on, talk to me if you're in church. I will never leave you, no. So this is what I wanted to hear this morning as we discuss on the subject like the first one. The secret of the first one was this. What I just said. How how many of you are here? So now, I spoke to us about we are created in the image and in the likeness of Jesus. As he is, so are we. Are we together? This is not how it works. Time is this time. That's what I mean. This time. Are we together? Now, this is not how it looks like. Simply because we are, we are both males, and then I go, oh, let's say he's in my own image. So let's, are you listening to what I'm saying? And they say, go and do the like. Go, just be moving. So the fact that I am in the image of Jesus, it doesn't mean and what he can do, I can do also. It does not mean I was how I was called, carved out, and designed to live life without, without Jesus. You know hear what I just said. You didn't hear what I just said. Are we together? 
So he was going, or rather he's going all by him. But the way we are designed, even though 